And the Easy Tether Pro app I got it from is Polyclip Software. There are many other Easy Tether apps. This is the Easy Tether Pro app, and it'll only be a one time fee of $10. Or back whenever I got it, it might still be $10. I'm not exactly for sure. Now we'll go into the Easy Tether app. Make sure you have your USB checked. And then go to USB settings, USB setup wizard. And then if you've got Windows, which I do, so you go to Windows Setup, click on it, and then you'll go to Download Phone and Copy, and then you'll go to Open Drivers Page. The home page for this is mobilestream.com slash easy tether. And these are what the easy tether supports, but we're going to use the uh, Windows version, so it'll be presently as of March 2017. It supports Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, and this will be a universal 32 uh, package that supports 32-bit uh, and 64-bit versions, which is the core package. So you click on that, and then you'll download it. And you'll transfer this from your phone to your laptop. Or you can go to the web page on your laptop and then download it there. Okay, now I'm plugging my cell phone. I'm using a Sony Zapfire Z3V cell phone. So, and I've already got this software on my computer. So whenever I plug it in, I'll end up having that come up. And I'm using a Windows 10. So some of this stuff might be a little bit different than uh, your computer. And I'll go up here to this PC, which if you don't have this icon here, you'll right click, go to personalize, then go to themes, and then right under related settings, you'll go to desktop icons, and then you go here to computer and click that box. So now we'll go to this PC, and like I said, mine's a Sony Zapfire Z3V phone. Uh, if you haven't ever plugged your phone into your laptop, it may have you download some stuff before you can do this. But I've got the Easy Tether enabled on my phone. They're going into it on my phone after I downloaded the app. So now I'll go in to my phone. It might be under the internal storage. Okay, right here is the Easy Tether. And then when you go into it, it'll come up to this, and then it'll be inst I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and uninstall mine. Whenever you install it, you're you'll have to restart your computer. Uh, but right now this is what I've got. My phone tethered to my laptop through its USB cord. And then I've got an, easy, an Ethernet cable, which is this one right here, going to my gaming system, which is the PS3. Okay, so you go to install, yes. Okay, now the installation is complete. You'll go down here to, this is what the Easy Tether app looks like, icon will look like. So you'll go to it, right click. Click on uh, connect device tat on device. Go to USB Android. And now the Easy Tether is connected. So now I'll turn on my gaming system. Uh, right click, go to personalize. And I'm using Windows 10, so this will be a little bit different. Or personalize, then go up here to home. And then your network and internet. And then go down to uh, your network and sharing. And then you'll go over here to the uh, network 2 for me is the cell phone. And the unidentified network is my gaming system, which is the PS3. So I'll go over here under connections, it says Ethernet. Two, I'll go to properties, then I go to sharing, and then under home network connection, I go to have it connect to the ether Ethernet, 
and then allow other users to connect to this computer's internet. Uh, I don't think you have to turn that on, but I'm not exactly for sure. But we'll just go ahead and go uh, with the way I have it right now. And push OK, click OK. And when you do that, that's having your Ethernet Ethernet 2, which will be the cell phone, or the, it's a cell phone for me. It's the internet on the cell phone. It's allowing it to go through my computer. And then once I use the Ethernet from the laptop to my gaming system, uh, that's what this unidentified network is. Is my gaming system, PS3, which is the one I'm using. And then go down to your, for the PlayStation 3, you'll go over here to your, Uh, settings and then scroll all the way down to your network settings and then go to and go up here to internet connections then go to uh, custom your wired connection auto detect automatic uh, do not set DNS setting automatic, MTU automatic, proxy server do not use, UPnP enable, and that, that'll come up, and then you go to test connection after pushing X, then it'll go to this. Then your net type will be or net type will be type three. But anyways, it succeeded. So if it don't, I might can sign you in next. It usually it usually will. But if it don't, I'll go over to sign in and now I'm signed in. PSN ID. It's Charles seven seven fourteen. Okay, if you ever have a problem where it's uh, not connecting after it's already been working uh, with getting you online, uh, then just go back to your sh uh, network sharing, then go back to, uh, uh, like I said before, for me, the network 2 is my phone, and then the unidentified network is my PlayStation 3. So, uh, the network 2, I'd go back to Ethernet 2. You click on it on, under connections connections ethernet 2 then go over here to properties then if it still shows it like this here then you'll just have to uh, uncheck that box and then push ok and then next it back out of that then go back into it go back into properties sharing and then go back to reselecting your home networking connection. For me, it'd be Ethernet again. And then check on to allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. Stop then coming down here to the bottom of the screen, check checking this arrow, and then right clicking the easy tether icon and making sure that it still shows the uh, I think it's the USB one checked and the uh, connect automatically when uh, the phone's connected or something like that I can't remember what it said but making sure both those two are checked that are usually right here this this will work with the uh, playing online too like uh, the only ones I've had had a problem working with is the Dragon Ball Xenoverse verse for the PlayStation 3 the first Xenoverse one but I don't know if that's just because the first Xenoverse has bad server, not very good servers. As far as uh, playing uh, online games like Final Fantasy Online, uh, like Final Fantasy A Realm Reborn, it works real good with it. As, my phone is a 4G phone, so it works real good as far as if I'm getting real decent and stable signal. Uh, you'll hardly notice any lag anywhere. And... Uh, as far as how much gigabytes I use or memory I use within a single billing period, 
it usually comes out to being no more than 10 gigabytes as long as all I'm using it for all I'm using the internet for is to get online and play online not to actually download games play online with other people usually you'll never go over 10 gigabytes or I never have went over 10 gigabytes just using it strictly for that and not using the internet on my phone for anything else